Do you cut foam on your CNC machine? How would you like to learn how to go from this to this? Stay tuned in this video and I'm going to show you how. In today's quick tips video, I'm going to show you how to get the best results cutting foam with your CNC machine. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to create a new file. I just want to make a little test project. We're going to do four by four inches. Uh, the foam I'm using is 0.8 inches thick. We're going to Z zero off the top surface and uh, I want to uh, use the lower left corner for my XY datum. So what I want to do is just create a star here, uh, basically just a simple star, just to have a shape to cut out so I can demo uh, what this, uh, these results are going to look like. So we're going to be using a tool from Amana. So I'm going to create a pocket tool path. The tool is, it's a Amana tool 46564. It's a 1 8 inch foam cutting bit with a down uh, flute spiral on it. Now, by far, this is probably the best tool I've ever used for cutting uh, foam, whether it be dense uh, foam or, or very uh, porous foam. It just it does an amazing job. However, if you don't set up your toolpath correctly, this will be the worst looking results in foam you'll ever see. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to just pock it down to uh, let's yeah, let's let's leave it at uh, 0.6 inches. And I'm going to do this in two passes. We're going to set, uh, we're going to do an offset pocket. So it's basically going to follow the perimeter of the uh, vector that's here. And we're going to leave it set to climb milling. I'm going to go ahead and preview that. So basically all we're going to do is pocket out a star in the foam. Okay. So I'm going to save this file and I want to cut it now. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Okay, so now that you see the results on that star, pretty terrible, right? Uh, it's, it was awful. The first time I saw it, I, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, well, this is a really nice bit. It's an expensive bit. I don't understand what's going on. The trick to getting a perfect cut with this particular tool in foam, it's as simple as clicking one button. All you need to do is leave everything else the same here in your tool path, but instead of climb, click conventional recalculate and uh, take that file out to the CNC. Take a look at this. Okay, so I hope you can see that from these results, it's just very important to make sure that you are using uh, conventional milling when you're milling foam with this particular bit. I've not tried a ton of different uh, end mills for foam and whether climb or conventional works. My guess is if it's a down cut end mill, you should always be using conventional to get the best results. Now, if you're using an up spiral end mill, I can't tell you if you're gonna get the same results, but you really shouldn't use an up spiral with foam because it will pull the material upwards and you'll end up with frays near the top edge. And you're usually when you're cutting foam, your result, you want a nice clean perimeter edge on it. So I hope this CNC tip helps you out. If it did, please like this video. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button so you can be notified the next time we put a new tip or video out on YouTube.